Dickinson. Um, definitely know 1129. Number 1129, okay? Um, I'm gonna start over here. Can I erase this side of the board? Do you need to get a shot of this first? Could you move the... Yes. So I can see it. Dickinson starts, uh, ten, well, number 1129 is on 1057, page 1057. It should be good.
She was the single artificer of the world in which she sang. What page is that? 1906. Page 1906. She was the single artificer of the world in which she sang. I just want to point something out. Okay, while we're here, because we've come to the end of the semester. Just notice, we started with Alexander Pope. There was already class structure. There was already poetic structure. There was meaning, and you had to follow that form. He had form that he had to conform to. That was neoclassical. We've come all the way into the modern era with Stephen. Now the poet just makes up meaning. It's like, total difference there. Modernity is totally different from it. Neoclassical. 1906. She was the single artificer of the world in which she sang. Um, we won't worry about the jar, okay? After Stevens, we had um, Elliot. Good. Love song of J. Alfred Prufrock, page 2075. 2075, we start with Elliot, E-L-I-O-T, not two L's. And it's the love song of J. Alfred Prefrock. I'm just going to ask you to write love song. Okay? Um, hmm. Probably, oh yeah. What is, what is my favorite line from all poetry? I have measured out my life with coffee spoons. I have measured out my life with coffee spoons. Yes. What? It's just beautiful. Okay? I have measured out my life with coffee spoons. This is on page 2077. Coffee spoons. You might also um, think about um, Do I Dare Disturb the Universe? We did the second coming. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah, let's do Yates first. first. Yates, second coming. with Faulkner. 